Hello, my name is Jeremy Smart, uh, and I draw comic books. I draw comics like Bunny vs. Monkey, and I draw Lushkin, and I draw Max and Chaffee. I basically, I draw a lot of comics. I spend all day, every day, drawing comic books. Um, and that's why I'm here, because I'm here to set you a very special challenge. I'm here to set week four of the Beanstalk Super Summer Challenge. Uh, and your challenge this week is to make a comic book, to make a comic book like this. This is the sort of comic I make, Bunny vs. Monkey. Uh, and you can see there's lots of very, very silly things go on inside. Lots of animals running around, uh, hitting each other, um, shouting at each other, falling over things, exploding. Um, so yeah, that's comics. These are the comics I make. They're so exciting to make uh, and hopefully they're exciting to read as well. Comics are a wonderful medium to work in because you can set them anywhere. You could set your comic in space. You could set your comic underwater. You could set your comic... I don't know, wherever you want. Um, you could come up with some cool characters, tell some amazing stories. So that's what we want you to do. We want you to make your very own comic book. Um, and there are a few tips that I can come to you with, that I can help you with, um, to try and set you on your way to make the best comic you can make. So first, first tip uh, is to come up with a funny character. So every comic book needs a funny, silly character. So in Bunny vs Monkey, for example, uh, we have characters like Bunny, uh, and monkey, as the title would suggest. Um, but we also have very weird random characters, like this huge robot gecko. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, there's an axolotl there. Uh, there's a lot, an awful lot of weird characters. And when you come up with a character, you can come up with whatever kind of character you like. So your character could be an animal, or it could be a type of food, or it could be a human, or it could be anything. Just kind of put a face on it, give it arms and legs, have it running around being silly. Uh, you can do whatever you want, and that's, again, the joy of comics. Or your character could even be based on you, if you'd like to draw yourself in a comic. That would be kind of fun as well. So yeah, that's the first tip. Uh, then you need to draw out your comic. Uh, and comics, as you might know, are drawn with panels. So you can see here, I've drawn these three boxes on a page and then set the action in each box. And here I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, five boxes on the page. So these are our panels. When we draw comics, we set them inside panels and panels hold all the action. Um, so similarly here, let's have a look. So there I've drawn a load of panels on a page and then I put the action inside it. Um, so those are the panels. That's how you come up with a comic. So if you've come up with a cool character, then you draw out some boxes or some panels. Um, and then the last step is you fill the panels with your character doing what you want it to do. Uh, running around, speaking to other characters, uh, falling down a ravine, um, anything, whatever you want. What we often do when we make comics is we use speech bubbles. So these are speech bubbles where we can show what the characters are saying. Just little circles with a little tail leading off to the character. Um, and the words inside. So that's how we have the characters talking to each other inside a comic. Um, lastly, I could give you one more tip, is I always draw in pencil first. So I always use pencil. This is my actual pencil. Because um, it makes it easier, because you can make mistakes. You can rub things out. You can get a feel for how the character looks uh, when you work in pencil first. Um, so it's just an awful lot easier to draw in pencil. Um, and then you kind of, if you want, you can ink over it. So this is what I do. This is a page of my comics. So I will have drawn this in pencil first, uh, and then I will have inked over it with a black pen or a brush or whatever you want to use. Uh, last tip, one more tip. Uh, keep your drawings very, very simple because your, your characters that you come up with, you're gonna be drawing them again and again and again in each panel. So you want them to be fun to draw. You wanna have fun drawing them. Um, so you might be able to see in Bunny vs Monkey, the characters are very simple. They're just very basic shapes, squares, circles, all stuck together. Um, and that makes it fun for me to draw it. So I want to keep drawing them in every panel. Uh, so that is the last tip. Uh, keep your drawings very simple. So yeah, I hope you have amazing fun. I hope you go out and make an amazing, amazing comic. Um, yeah, and get drawing.